My name is Tom Parks, and I've been in Gardena uh, off and on since 1946. And I went to work for the card clubs in Gardena in 1959. Uh, eventually became a partner in the uh, Horseshoe and the Gardena clubs. I left the Horseshoe Club to take over the Rainbow Club with the open competition of other cities in the county, like the Bicycle Club and the Commerce Club and the Bell Gardens Club and so forth. We had to close it down and, and uh, went bankrupt in, in summer of 83. So at one time we had six card clubs in Gardena. It was the only city in the county that, uh, that had the card clubs. That Because of that, uh, the growth was limited that department stores and restaurants, etc., wouldn't come into Gardena because of the card clubs. I'm Blaine Nicholson. I now live in San Diego, and I'm a retired advertising public relations executive. Arnie Prim was the owner of two of them, and he never did like to lose because he also had casinos in Reno. So he developed this idea that you could come there and play poker among friends, and every hour a chip girl would show up and would collect money from everybody who was there. He was never involved in the gambling. He was in a position that he never had to lose. It was all round tables. There was no dealers. You had chip girls that done everything. We served coffee, cigarettes, food, and you took collections every half hour. There was a light that came on on the, on the hour and the half hour, red light, and you had five minutes to get either get out of the seat or pay your collection to stay in the seat for the next half hour. Players would try to get up and kind of move around when the light came on so that they couldn't, they could avoid paying the fee. And um, the, the floor people and the managers used to have to track the players. It always tell the gamblers. They were always dressed kind of flamboyantly. From the outside, most of the people, whenever you mentioned Gardena, they thought it was a, a gambling town. They, they thought that, I don't know, I guess they thought it was crime ridden Sin City or something. But the card clubs were very innoxious, and certain people, mostly from out of town, came and played cards there. And the local people mostly used it as a restaurant. They had the greatest meals in the world. I remember when we first moved here, they go, oh, you're moving to the city with all the casinos. And I just remember coming home sometimes, I would always ask, can we go down the streets with the casinos on them? Because just seeing the whole lights, it was like Vegas. I remember being on vacation, uh, and several times, you know, when, when you meet someone on vacation, and they'd be talking to my parents or something would happen and say, oh, you're from Gardena? Oh, the card clubs. And I heard that many, many times. Coming from an Italian family, we would play all, always, uh, we had a poker game in the house with my mom, my dad. My mom was a, a cocktail waitress here in Gardena, and my dad was a truck driver for the Dr. Pepper and Squirt over here on Redondo Beach Boulevard. My mom knew everybody in Gardena. She knew all the bookies, she knew the chief of police, you know, she knew everybody. And I remember as a kid, all those people coming over at our dining room table playing poker. A few of the more prosperous clubs opened right after the war. Fremen made a deal with the veterans organizations that he would, uh, he would give them the license and pay them so much a month. A veterans organization had to hold the license and then they had to lease it to the card clubs. They were paying pretty good money to the veterans organizations for the use of the license. And of course, it's, you know, right after the war, who's going to turn down the veterans? I've been in the casinos many times as a police officer. I've looked around the room and I see these people and they're just gambling their lives away. I've talked to people who go to my church, who work in there, and they tell me stories of these guys that'll just I mean, they mortgage their houses and they just, they lose everything. It's kind of like the saying goes, Vegas wasn't built on winners. You know what I'm saying? It's built on losers. And so it is with uh, the revenue that's collected from these, these clubs, you know, they're out to make money. And uh, someone goes in there and they want to blow their money to hopefully make more money. It's a gamble. That's why they call it gambling. I feel to each his own. If a person wants to gamble, they're going to gamble. If not on a table, they'll gamble in other ways. And I feel if that's what they want to do, that they should be allowed to do it. I think some of the things that kind of helped Gardena stay alive was uh, the card clubs. I think they really helped in the community. They helped us keep our property taxes down by paying for the trash. They made sure that everybody got fed at Christmas time. They had Christmas baskets they gave out. Didn't matter, you know, as long as they lived in Gardena. 